Video number seven. Step three, setting up your tracking strategy. Tracking is extremely important for absolutely any internet marketing tasks. If you would like to reduce costs and significantly increase productivity, you have to track everything you do online. The same goes for building a list. When building your list, you will need to be tracking two things. The first thing you must track is how well your squeeze page is converting. And the second thing you have to track is the traffic source you are using. There are all kinds of awesome tracking tools you can use for this, but I really don't want to be too technical on it. You really don't have to immerse yourself into the complicated website traffic tracking and the opt-in conversion tracking worlds in order to set up a reliable tracking strategy on building your list. You just need to take it easy and use the simple tools. Yeah, that's right. And for what we're going to use, your autoresponder service provider itself will track your results. Yes, that's right. I won't send you to some other website to spend more money for this. Once you have created the opt-in box, you will see it listed there in the sign-up form area. And what you see right there is a lot of useful information. You will see the name of the opt-in form, the type, displays, submissions, and conversion rate. This is all you need to track your squeeze page conversion and traffic sources. Let me tell you how. Right here, you can see my diabetes squeeze page tracking strategy. As you can see, I have created several opt-in boxes and all of them are created to collect leads for the exact same list. I used the name of the opt-in form to identify the, the traffic source. The displays refers to how many times the opt-in box has been shown since you installed it on your squeeze page. This will then mean how many people have visited your squeeze page. The same clicks you see on the traffic service you have decided to use should be the same displays shown here. The submissions are the leads generated from the displays. And the conversion rate will tell you how well that traffic source and that squeeze page work together. The higher the conversion rate, the better. I also use Facebook ads for this, but I created several squeeze pages to see which one converted the best. So I cloned the exact same opt-in box and installed it on seven different squeeze pages and tracked each and every one of them. This way, you can compare which squeeze page converted the best and keep using that one for future testing. A high converting squeeze page and traffic source will have a success rate from 30% to 50%. We advise you to avoid cheap traffic in order to look for high quality leads for your business. Cheap traffic hardly converts. What cheap traffic does is kill your squeeze page conversion rates. Remember, you must track your squeeze page and your traffic source. They have to work together. Do not track a squeeze page until you have tested it on several traffic sources. Testing always takes some money, but once you have reached the sweet spot, you will be able to collect as many high quality leads as you want with an extremely low investment by just increasing your budget on something that you know works awesome already. All that money you have invested will come back again real quick and then you will be able to make a lot of free money in the future from the same leads you have collected before, plus the new ones. List building is just amazing. Some very important advice for you is that once you have installed your opt-in box on your squeeze page, you must test it first. Just visit your squeeze page, put in your name and email, check your email, look for the confirmation email, and click on the confirmation link and also look on your autoresponder service if you are in the list. Also, check in the sign up form area that the display and submission appears there. And then, after you make sure everything is perfectly connected, avoid revisiting your squeeze page. Do not visit your own squeeze page URLs, because this will also be shown in the sign up form area statistics. That will mess up the tracking strategy completely because you will be creating fake additional displays.